Hey, man, what's going on? What are you doing with that, man? And who are you? You know, I'm Sean. Oh, hey, man, what the fuck do you think you're doing? Man, ask you a question, dude. What are you doing with the mask on, John? You're being silly. That's key. I like that. Hey, don't stop it. I get to work with the fuck. Man, you never push me like this. What's your problem? What's your problem, man? I got work to do. Dude, we got all night, man. We're not in any hurry. I am. John Bowers. You know, as a tradition, I always have a good old plate of good home style cooking meal like Grandma used to make. That's why I shot her. Listen, as a tradition, I always eat this before the show, but I can't do it this week. We've been having a lot of pressure. If you watched last week's show, you would know that we had a lot of trouble with Johnny Blackwood. He gave me a note, note of a series of movies that he wants made about his bees. Well, he didn't stop. And so we've got a lot more trouble on the way. I don't, I don't know if anybody here understands what's going on and the uh, significance of what's happened, but it's getting worse since he's got no feedback from me or Sean or Corey or anybody on the cast for Saturday night. He's gotten angered, more angered. He, I'm getting threatening calls. He's saying he's got a swarm of killer bees that are riding, or buzzing around my hive, and that makes me angered. Now. I can't understand this, because CBS is starting to agree with him. And this is making me quite angered. And there's been a lot of controversy about this show, and what's going to happen? We may get canceled before the season's out. We've only got three more shows until the season's over. And I'm thinking of now, of walking out on the show. This is serious, people. This is no game. This is no flame. This is serious. I want everybody to stop laughing, my damn it. <laughs> it's not funny. Because I am walking out on Saturday night. <laughs> because CBS is now pressuring me. They've been giving up all my rights. They've taken all my privileges away. Instead of $9 for the next two years, we have none. We have none. Pardon me, I've had chemotherapy this week. It, it, it's, it's, I mean, and I'm not the kind of person that would uh, betray my... Uh, my a fellow associates from CBS. I would never do that. And I'm not going to do that now. But the thing is, is that Johnny Blackwood is causing so much heat on CBS and me. It's awful. CBS, you're going to regret that you've done this. Stay back, Bobby. What? Um, John, you've got some kind of, I don't know, it's a package of some kind, I don't know. What's this? What's this? Huh? Probably on dying. Probably dying to hear from me. It's probably an apology. What'd I tell you, huh? what I say? Let's all clap. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, in care of Killer B Associates. Shit. I'm sorry. This is... I, I can't believe it. I, I can't believe what is happening. What is this? It's a cassette. It said, Johnny Blackwood, John, play this now. Inside is it? Oh, okay, good. Oh, good. They sent us a tape recorder. They sent us a tape recorder. Good. We'll see what Johnny Blackwood and his killer bees have to say about this. We'll just see. What the hell? Hello, John. This is Johnny Blackwood. I have sent you this tape to tell you that the killer bees are living and that they should be 
and have control over the world with me. Put out 
all bones by the number of him talking about it. The time he said, I show them after he fell whole and thought of May of 1975, because he aren't a real. That's smelling like his my mother lived after she ate, ate grits. Third night, it is she pinned it like a roll on the side of a hit highway. That had a shirt shoulder. That smelled like turnip. Marvin, what you going going to play? I don't know. By in what, why, what else? I play it. Got two, two fun. <laughs> yep. I one, two, three, four, and. I, two, three, and a four. Besides, John Byrne's fat face, what smelled like his pro meat, pro, pro meat milk, seemed hollow. It's one stain, staining face, fat foot, bunch Put head. His, his whole even crash one. Time I was in a seven and eleven. And he passed by me. His foot looked like the front chest. <laughs> Rock Park Poplin, nineteen seventy three May Martyr. Martyr. If you Got a record player that's played 78. Coney, Stephanie is one big hairy, foley eye that's just weary. To he is just a beginner in those God awful shoulders that he called girl. I mean the first one he brought in. Oh Lord. She was just so beautiful. But he believed Lord they was ugly and ripping off of her gum. Her teeth. She Behave, said that some smile to fix it. Connie, the next one, her looks like someone was surely her in the head, sharing her in the head, and they passed it. It as her head was blowing up, and now Liz. Lady, land, a man. He face, her face looked like a woodshine. Her brother's bedroom is behind a bed boiler, and her breath smell like the cabinet under a sink. All the action on Saturday night of Dover. They got fat face, bad breath, and the girl, friends, family members got bedroom behind Boiler all the way <laughs> with Johnny Holland of them killing bees, left 
e e t sap that come come out of johnny's mouth that look like a a butthole and remember this too jesus loves you but we leave leave you may we hate you <laughs> thank you with the daughter oh say if your shoe is dexter the killer bees will hibernate and leave <laughs> That's about stupid. That didn't make any kind of sense. That didn't make any sense whatsoever. What the hell is this? Included here is a tape of a song that expresses my and Johnny's feelings towards bees and Cabernet Sauvignon. Signed XXX. I am about sick of this fucking killer. Hey, business. What are we going to do about it? The guy is obviously out of his mind. God. I have no idea. Oh, man, God. Are we on the air? We are cutting because I don't know what we're going to do. Jay, would you... You cut it now. <laughs> Damn it, that killer bee. Damn.
Well, I'm not ready to learn arts. The bunion is. And that's where these bunion pads come in. Well, my bunion wants to take it, and I'm not going to pay for it, so he's paying your bunion pads. One bunion pad per lesson. Ah! 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 Well, start doing what you're going to do. All right, here's the paper. Get your whatever ready. Oh, yes. Hold on. Where should I stand? Oh, okay. Let me see if I can buy another pencil for you. Ah! Oh, God! Ah, uh, okay. No, there was no other pencil. Ah! What are you doing? Well, this is my bunion that's taking art. Ah! L. Ah! Okay. All right. First lesson. Now, you know we're up 4 a.m. to 1 a.m. And I'm glad you were able to cut. What is it? Can you draw that scam? No. Okay. Get your whatever ready. Oh. Can I talk to you? Or do I have to talk to it? You can talk to you once. You talk to me and I'll transform. I'll trans. I'll transfer. I'll to set you up. Okay. All right, now the first thing you need to know. Oh, he can't understand you. I thought you said he had to transfer. No, I said I said I transfer to you what he says. Okay, what he said. He said, okay, go ahead and tell that piece of shit. Okay. He doesn't have anything to brag about. Look at that. But the bunion didn't draw it like well, he can't he can't can't draw. Well, he can he can do it as good as that, I think. Well, let's say he can do this, okay. That is awful. Let's 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 look at that. Let's look at that. 
Have a seat. We'll talk about this, all right? Yeah. Now, John, uh, I'm really, really getting tired of this guy. I don't know what the deal is. What are you, what are you wearing the super mask around for? I'm not wearing a mask. I haven't been married. Bullshit, John. Bullshit. Before. What are you talking about? I've been wearing a stupid fucking mask to smile that just like is big and it goes to the small. And Sean, I don't wear a mask. I don't, I don't, I don't have a possession that's a mask. John, don't be fucking with me. You know it's you. And you threw me down my free... You what would I have to give by walking around here wearing a mask? Listen, you know what you... threw me down, and then once you even did this, you go... Ow! God! Yeah. Fuck! Yeah, it hurts, doesn't it? I guess yeah, it hurts. You're not to do it to me. I did 
didn't do it, Mother Bacchel. I didn't do it. Look at me. You know you did. I did not do oh, it. Oh, so you're saying there's a John Bowers impersonator running around here with a mask on. It's your same voice. It's been, it's been done before. Oh, yeah, it's been done before. It happened. Remember that time it happened in 1987? No. Well, it happened. Wait a second. Wait a minute. Wait an hour. Wait a day. Wait a week. Wait a month. Wait a year. Wait a... Uh, a century. <laughs> Wait a decade first. That'd be good. Mm -hmm. Right? Damn it, shit. There it was. Damn it, I heard a, a boom, 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 boom. So now I know it wasn't you. Dang. Damn know. right. Do you know there's any shit? Well, what stopped him in the seventh grade? What? In 87. Well, I don't know what grade I was in, but I remember it happened. No, that's when my kid was in seventh grade. No. Kid brother. Okay. <laughs> Listen, well, first of all, He's like what has he been man. doing? He's just been going around. Hit me. He, he did this. He goes. Oh, I don't want to be introduced no, to that again. Oh, God! And see, and I didn't do it that time. And he almost did this to me. Ooh. Okay, I'm not going to anymore. Once he went like... Once he went like this. Okay, I don't need another demonstration. Stop! Stop! Damn it, I missed him again. God damn it. You might as well try to forget it. Was that him again? Yes, that was him again. Okay. No. Forget it. Well, what can we do about it to stop him? All right. Well, what, what did you do in 87 to stop him? I'm going to get to that. This happened, and this worked. So. This is the only thing that will work. It's cream pie. You're saying a cream pie? Is going to make him stop. What do you do? Does he eat it? Or? Well, no, but I don't know. See, Zin Cheney made this. But he's not too good of a cook. I don't know, but it stopped him last time. They didn't kill him. So what the fuck does he do with it? You just throw it in his face. All right, could you demonstrate on me? No, because we don't want to waste any. Please. I've only got one. Well, we can like, well, we can't make you anymore because then Cheney made it. Well, who's going who's gonna to do it to him? Who's going to give it to him? You or me? You. All right, then I need a demonstration on how to do it. Would you mind demonstrating on me, please? Just throw it in the face like that. And would you show me? To me? No, show I won't show you right here. Why not? You wanted to show it? You want? You got it, motherfucker. See, that's how you do it. <laughs> okay. And don't you put any on me because you wanted to know. Okay. And you know now. Yes, so just do it just like that, just like No, not like that. No, like this. Get prepared. Mm -hmm. mm. That. Oh, okay. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. so, just be sure not to stray from the fold, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh. She promised me a date and she said, No! She said, Thorny, I'd like to go out with you. No! I said, What's going on? I can't understand. Stupid bitch. Who's that knocking out my strawberry? Dave, make it, buddy. And what do you have to say about that? I didn't like that, Dave. 
and I didn't steal it from you. <laughs> Don't be going to my house making accusations. Because that makes me mad when people make accusations like that. That's my pet peeve, man. When people come in and saying that I stole a cassette tape of streaming plays of a Trevor Chuckle they're making. And it's banjo. That makes me mad. My pet peeve is when somebody comes into my house, my domain, and says that I told them that I stole the cassette copy of string being his banjo plays I should Uncle Dave make I didn't do that your finger out of my face I got one thing to say to you I got one thing to say to you <laughs> manhole remember that motherfucker shoe sole I didn't steal string beans tape you know you did I did not don't deny it I cannot deny what I have not done Motherfucker. Don't be coming in here and accusing me for doing that. Call me motherfucker, you wimble son of a bitch. Why are you wearing your hat? Come on, how about we have a... Okay, sit down. Oh, wait, okay, let, let, I'm, let me go get... And let me go get some... Uh, some... Some dinner. Okay? Got some shit. Why don't we have to go for dinner and dancing? Let me go get some dinner. Got dinner. Right here, look. We got some dinner. Have a nice chat. Talk about some old times. You want to do that? Be, that sounds good to me. Go on, have a seat, man. Let me get this out of the way. Thank you. My mother gave that to me, as a matter of fact. Here you go. Here's some. Oh, shit, I didn't cook it. Okay. It didn't work. Yeah, it does. Okay. Here's a pet Ritz pie crust shells. I didn't cook it, but here you cook it. And here I got my rest fillet. Come on, man, dig in. Mmm. Mm. Oh, good. Mm. See this? Hey, see this trophy? Yeah. I won this for something. Where you get off saying that I stole your string bean tape. I did not steal it. Why did you think I stole it? I mean, what, you must have misplaced it last time you were here. Did you hear what I just said to you? Hmm? I said you must have misplaced it when you were here last time. In 87. I didn't steal it. I didn't steal it. This is really, really good. Thank you. you cook this one? I'll give you the recipe. Mm. Mm. Now, damn it, I did not steal that string bean tape. And don't stray away from the subject. Subject. Now I'm talking to you seriously. Now damn it, I want to have one to one, one on one conversation with you. You gotta answer me. Don't you even think about it. You already ruined my table. Shit. <laughs> Okay, enough to dinner. Let's go for some dancing. Let's go for some dancing. Fine, let's do some dancing, man. Go for a little dancing. A little nightlife, a little dancing, a little fun. In the sun? No, not in the sun. Let's see. Let's see. I've got a thousand records. Oh, this looks like a good one. <laughs> okay? All right, listen. Let's listen to this. Wait a second. This is my favorite song. Nola. Nola. Damn it, why won't this thing play? Listen to this. We'll have a little dance, a little dancing. Get over here and dance with me. You son of a bitch. Here's a new sound. 
a string orchestra without a violin. Guitars, mandolins, ukuleles, and banjos, all strumming But string all being, but I didn't steal it. A string combo to reproduce musically, since the sound of each can overlap and obscure the other. What? Mark how well Packard Bell stereo sorts them out in this rollicking version of NOLA. Separation. <laughs> 
with his band, a, stra- a, te- a cassette tape of String Beanie with his banjo making a tribute to his uncle, Bacon, um, Dave Bacon, Dave Bacon. Did I forget all about this? That's that sound. Okay. Okay. Come on. You're leaving, aren't you? Yeah. Bye. Well, you don't go out the door. There's no door on that, so you might have to go in this way. Yeah, there is. It's a secret door. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Very good. I always try. I'm so great. I'm so good. I'm gonna call everybody in the neighborhood. I'd like to order a large pepperoni pizza with lots of extra cheese and four pairs of sunglasses to go on with it. Yes, four pairs of sunglasses. Four. Pink, green, black, and blue. Pink, green, black, and blue, yes. Okay. Yes. Studio X. Anchovies. Yeah! I'm so great. This has been a pretty good show tonight. Don't you think, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, yeah. This has really been a great show. We've had Bunyan, which is a great hit, of course, all day. And, let's see, what else do we have? I want to find out who this asshole is that's running around this damn mask. I'm going to get that pie in the face of him, I'll tell you that much. Bust him with that. But. Goodness. Make sure my pizza is coming. Shit. 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 Yes, I'd like a large. Oh, you're saying something about your last door? Large pizza. Shit. Mm-hmm. You realize you're cleaning up every bit because I'm not touching that shit that you're eating. Oh, it's good. Yeah, I made it. Mmm. We're also cleaning it up. What shit? The stuff you dropped on the floor. I don't care. I dropped it on you. Because my cat went over with greatness. Mm. Mm. I'm so hot. Because I'm going to Evangel College. Okay. No, don't you. Stop me. it. Come here. Oh, stop. What are you doing? Oh, oh, come on. Don't do that. Well, I thought I'd just come by. Mmm. Think about that, motherfucker. Listen, I thought I'd just stop by and see how you were doing. Piece of shit. I'm going to rip your vest. Can I rip your vest? I'm doing wonderful at, at Evangel College. I've been getting my degree. Guess what I'm getting it in? Chicken eating. Quantum chemistry. Quantum chemistry. Quantum chemistry. Yes, um, quantum chemistry, please. Just as I figured, thank you. There's no such thing as quantum chemistry. Yes, there is. Yes, there's not. And you're lying. Not. Well, anyway, I have time to argue with you. I am so cool. I am so hot. I am better than God. Chicken. I am so hot. Chicken. Hey, pick up all your crap yourself. So no. Hot. I don't, I can't have a job here, so I don't have anything to do with this place. So you can clean up yourself. Sorry, just because you're a sorry actor. I am the best thing that ever happened to this show. Since I've been around here, you guys have endured much more betterness into your mind because I've been around. You don't even know what you're talking about. You haven't done nothing for the show whatsoever. You've been I've been great for the show. You are shit for the show. Strip? I mean, you... I have the decency to come over here. Nobody wants you on the show. That's because they're afraid I'll, I'll make them look so bad. Five person. Ever. No bad. One tenth of a person our ratings dropped to when you came on the show. That's because when Bunyan came back on and you went my, off. I've got so much up. intellect that the normal, um, average American cannot conceive my wonderfulness. 
You've got the intellectual brain of a grape. Oh, don't be doing that, Cameron. Don't be doing that. You've got the intellectual brain of a grape. I do not. Yes, you do. I've got it out of the living. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't be making me mad. I am angered. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me mad. <laughs> you will pay ever so thoroughly. <laughs> well, I gotta be leaving. I don't have time to chat with us. some loser like you. Stay off me. Stay off me. We can't talk to that person because he didn't call me. It's a gay person. It's on hold. I'll see you later. Okay? Goodbye, good riddance. <laughs> Farewell. You booty fotty booty fotty fee fa foo. You are just a fee fa fo. I am so cool. I'm so hard to describe some odd. Gotta be something. Wait a second. I've got an. I've got an idea. Yeah, I've got a wonderful idea. Now where is that old address book from 1987? <laughs> hmm. I've got to call her back. I'll see her as well as you want. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Babette, four stars. <laughs> okay, let's see. Hmm. Ah, okay. Let's see. somehow managed to knock that off. I know what it is. I know exactly. It's in the Hooked, in, hooked on Classics 2 book. Why didn't I think about that before? Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Here it is. Page 61. 69. 69. Boys. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> the John Bowers Impersonation Burden Control. <laughs> What's that number? I think I got it. Yeah! Impersonation burden control, please. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, listen. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop. Listen, what I was thinking about, I got this guy impersonating me again. I don't know who it is. He's where he's a he's a He's that weird face guy. No, no, not Sean Hahn. Some other guy with, with red hair and freckles, but it's not Sean Hahn. It's somebody else. It smells like one like this. It looks like it's going... I haven't seen him. I can't catch him. But if I can, I will. And if I will, I can't. 
And where there's a will, there's a way. And where there's a can, there are pineapples in the tropics waiting for me. Uh -huh. Somebody right over? Uh -huh. All right. Thank you. What the fuck is... I smell something fishy. And it's not Tamara Roberts' <clears throat> pussy either. I smell something going on. It's hot. Definitely hot. John. God, that's kind of hard. You're having some trouble for Everything me. Is weird. Do you need anything fixed? Do you need to, do you need to fix anything? Or no. Anything to eat? Are you sure? you will be alright without it? If you suggest it. No, I wouldn't even suggest that. Okay, well, there is something you can get me. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, listen closely. All right. I want four New York strips. Four New York dicks. Strips. Four New York dicks. Strips, okay. Two four, Cokes. Four New York strips, two Cokes. Two 7-Ups. Two 7-Ups. One water. One water. One Pepsi. One Pepsi. One head of lettuce. One head of lettuce. Three ice cubes. Three ice cubes. A statue of a clown. A statue of a clown. A lamp. A lamp. A cushion. A cushion. Got all that? I'm fed it back. Okay. Four New York strips, two Cokes, two 7 Ups, three ice cubes, one water, one lamp. One cushion. One Pepsi. One Pepsi. All right, we'll get it right now. Okay. Any curry on that? You son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. You daughter of a bitch. You want some chicken with that? Shut you of a clown. Try it. Thank you. Bitch, you're not getting away now. Hey, John, John! So, I guess you're like not going to be wanting that food now? Is that it? You know, the four new strips with the two Cokes, the two Pepsis, the water. Oh, sorry, two Cokes, two seven ounce, one Pepsi, one water, Stetchum Clown, uh, three ice cubes, lamp, cushion, and, um, I said four new, new York strips, I guess. Yeah, and lemon chicken with curry. You don't even think about it, you son of a bitch. Exploring science ninety. See, I love you, Ben. Man, nobody, nobody, nobody's ever got my present. Hi. My name is David Vito. Oh, young man. I'm Judge Walker. No, I'm just kidding. That's a good joke, man. Huh? Okay. Good. Just call me the judge. <laughs> Tell, would you mind telling me what exactly you had there? Well, I thought you, I thought you didn't know that. I've been with it. Glad to look around here, right? <laughs> Hey, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It looks like a gander. What exactly is that? I think it's better than my friends. I call this fun with friction. Fun with friction? Yeah. See this? This is the massage, okay? And the thing about this, it can be used for male or female, okay? Understand what I'm saying? Uh, I can't say those words because I'm not allowed to. <laughs> uh, you turn it on like this. See, look. You see that? Now, here's some I would I would demonstrate for you, not live, but thank you. And after a while of this, whichever one which makes me cool, this happens. Beep, beep, and that's why it's called fun with friction. Beep. <laughs> How do you like that? That is a I think I, it's a it's a, I'm not impressed with my peer. I think I do better than they do. So what do you think of a client, eh? 
Then we make a noise like a, it makes a noise like a bee. I got all dressed up in my nice suit. Young man. Fun with friction. I, I, I make you some shoes. What the I have you? I said, my part is wet because I think it's better than a lot of the others because I think this is the natural, this has to do with the male and female species. Because this thing benefit people. First of all, young man, you are <laughs> great in the science world. This is the most juvenile, incompetent piece of trash I've ever seen it in, not, in my science on. professional career. Will. <laughs> uh, I, come on, come on, man. Because I don't have any way. The shoes bread on the plate is better than that. I, that's that's contraption. <laughs> that's infamous. Oh, dog. What do you mean? I think this is a bad one. I, I, I went for a bad because my, uh, my name is David Mitchell. You would not win anything if you had to. What do you mean? This is nothing. You are not going into place. You're not going to play for the finals. You're not going to do anything. Come on, Straight. man. Don't be mean. Be nice, man. Don't be mean. This guy, this is the best Why don't you just get out of here? My peers are better. Get out of here, child. I bet my peers. Incompetent fool, child. I bet that. I'm bad. You have nothing in the science Come on, professional man. career. Get out. 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 Get out of my Get out. Get out. Get out. Get outside. Just walk outside. Run outside. It's cold. Don't care. Get out of here. Just go. Go, get out of here, come on. Jack, I'm gonna tell my mother that. My three things just I swear. What is Oh man, this is so juvenile. So juvenile. every day. My dad gives me a spoon and that spoon goes with this jar of Gerber applesauce. Good for you. My sister gives me cookies and my brother gives me a coat. But that's not important. What's really important is the thing my mom gives me. For she gives me a kiss. A little Hershey's kiss. A Hershey's kiss is the big taste of chocolate in a little piece of candy. They're all taken care of. No prob. No problem. The people came in and they they got him. I mean they got him good. I don't think we'll have him be having that trouble for a while. <laughs> Yeah, I know your twice moaning for me, so I'll be on home here in a minute, okay? Wait. I'll, I'll let you go, okay? Yeah, Corey. Yeah, we got it all taken care of. Listen, I'm going to hang up right now. Sean, uh, Sean just got shot. I'm going to fool him because I think he's going to try to hit me with the pie. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fool Sean. Bye. Be really strong, like he is pretty strong because I kind of pushed him around. I could beat him up out with my brutal strength, though, if I got aggressive enough, of course. But wait a minute, what was that John said about that pie? Yeah, I remember.
cream pie. I'm gonna get them now. This side will go. Uh, uh, who's there? Uh, it's John. It's John, huh? Yeah, John. Oh, well, uh, come on in. What are you doing? Nothing. Uh, yeah, come on in. Okay. Yeah, hey, come on, it's cool. Psych! John, that was you. Oh, God. Of course it was me. I mean, who else would say John? Oh, I thought you were that impersonator guy. We got rid of him, didn't I? Oh, <laughs> shit. I I'll be right back. I need to make a phone call real quick.